In our previous video, we took a detour on our cruise from Ketchikan to Juneau to visit Endicott Arm and Dawes Glacier. Now we continue north on the Discovery Princess to Juneau, the capital of the state of Alaska. Join us as we explore Juneau, Alaska. As we sailed north toward Juneau, we began to encounter more traffic on the water in the form of fishing vessels, and eventually, we began to see houses along the shore. Juneau is located on the Gastineau Channel and on the mainland across the channel from Douglas Island. Douglas Island is the home to the communities of Douglas and West Juneau, and it's where many of the people of Juneau live. It is connected to the mainland and Juneau by Douglas Bridge. Since our cabin was on the port side of the ship, we were looking at Douglas Island as we sailed into the port in downtown Juneau. As you can see in these shots, it is another cloudy and rainy day in southeast Alaska as we approach Juneau. As the ship turned in toward the dock, we began to get a better view of downtown Juneau where our ship would dock. This view from the bridge cam shows our ship docking right in the heart of downtown Juneau. After docking at around 1.30, the process of securing the ship and preparing it for disembarkation took a few minutes, and by 2, the announcement came that we could get off the ship and out into the rainy streets of Juneau. Despite the fact that Juneau is the state capital, the population is around 32,000, making it a very walkable city, with many shops and restaurants located within easy walking distance of the downtown cruise ship dock. Also located in this area is the Mount Roberts Tram, which takes visitors to the top of Mount Roberts for spectacular views of Juneau, Douglas Island, and the Gastineau Channel. This was a ride that I had taken on a previous trip to Juneau a number of years ago and was looking forward to on this trip. Unfortunately, with the rainy and foggy weather on this day, the views would have been completely obscured. So we spent our time off the ship wandering the streets of Juneau. Here we popped into a shop and watched as this guy made fudge.
And of course, there was coffee. Heading back to the ship, we pass the Alaska Heritage Institute and some of its display of totem poles. The streets of Juneau are well kept, with planters, decorative lamp posts, and hanging flower baskets evident along the streets. It was still raining as we returned to the ship, and it was evident that many passengers were still off the ship, even in the rain. There were also a number of excursions that passengers had taken, particularly to Mendenhall Glacier that was very popular, and which was not within walking distance of the ship. I had seen Mendenhall on a couple of previous visits to Juneau, and opted to not take this excursion, even though it is definitely worth your time if you haven't seen it. I checked out a couple of onboard specialty dining venues, including the Bistro Sur Le Mer shown here, before heading to main dining for dinner before our nighttime sail away. Our Juno sail away was after dark, and we got some great views of the lights of Juno and Douglas before we sailed away northward towards Skagway, our next port of call the following morning. Join us in our next episode as we explore Skagway, Alaska. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, would you give us a thumbs up, share it, and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. We invite you to join us on our website at findushere.com, as well as on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. And be sure to check out this video next for more travel fun. And don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription is always greatly appreciated.